a Microsoft SQL Server database to MySQL Server uh, version 8.0. So we're going to be using MySQL Workbench and uh, on SQL Server, we're going to be using the, the Microsoft uh, uh, SQL Server Management Studio. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's go ahead first of all and uh, import our database in uh, Microsoft SQL. We, we already don't have a database. We're gonna go ahead and import our our Northwin database. So what we're going to do here is uh, attach because we have the MDF file. So we're gonna go and uh, attach not restore, but attach our MDF file. So let's add. Now the wind NDF. So unfortunately, we don't have an LDF file, so this one is going to give us an error. And if, you look, uh, if you check at the error right here, it tells us we're unable to open the physical file and uh, not wind underscore log dot LDF. So we don't have the log file, so we'll uh, we're going to direct a Microsoft SQL server to create one for us. So we're going to remove this one that is not available. And let's go ahead and uh, click OK. So our Nodwin database is uh, created here. So when you expand tables, you find our tables are there. Views, we have a couple of views there. Uh, maybe procedures, we have uh, several stock procedures. Right, even uh, OK. Functions, we don't have, uh, we only have a few, we have one. So this table is what we are going now to migrate uh, from the SQL server to MySQL uh, on the other side, uh, MySQL. So uh, our migration wizard is uh, in the MySQL uh, workbench. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, flip to MySQL workbench. So under databases, we find uh, this menu called uh, migration wizard. So this is what we're going to use uh, to perform to perform our migration. So first of all, let's go and let's open our ODBC data source because we need this one for us to be able to connect to the Microsoft SQL Server database. So we're going to use uh, the let's just search from the start menu ODBC. Let's use the 64-bit because my computer is a 64-bit version. Right, then my operating system is 64-bit uh, based. So we're going to use a uh, ODBC 64-bit. Right, so what we'll do is uh, create a new data source using SQL Server. Okay, so we can give it a name. Let's say migration SQL server migrate. Can give it such a name, it's a bit long. Okay. Um our server name we're going to be using uh, the localhost, so you can either use the IP address. Okay. Alternatively, you can just copy the uh, from MySQL, from Microsoft SQL. You can just copy this from here and paste uh, here. Oh, so the, the computer name. Uh, the server can also serve as the, the server name. Okay, and yet it's the server name actually. So you can either use the server name or the IP address. And again, you can still use the dot sign, still means a uh, localhost. So we're going to use uh, the SQL server authentication. So select the second option and uh, make sure this one is checked. So that we're able to enter our SQL server authentication logins. So we're going to use the system administrator. Uh, 
uh, then go and let's set our password. Click next. So uh, we have to change these uh, default database, right? So we'll change it to North Wind because we already have the database in the Microsoft SQL Server. So we'll change the default database to North Wind so that whenever this data source is selected, it comes with the database name. So let's test our data source. Successful. So Microsoft uh, SQL Server migrate, that's our data source. So click OK. Let's cancel this one for now. So let's start the migration process. Just click uh, Start Migration. All right, so uh, source RDBMS uh, connection parameters. Our source is um, the Microsoft SQL Server. So let's select from the drop down. So as you can see, you can migrate data from several sources, including Postgres and uh, Microsoft Access, uh, and even including MySQL itself. So I'll use Microsoft SQL Server for now. Don't have uh, an installed data source. So we're gonna create a, a new one. Can call it. Uh... Okay, we already have it. SQL Server migrate. It's there. So we just select from the drop down. Uh, Preconfigured ODBC data sources. So then. Uh... Because the password is already entered, you can okay, no need to specify again the database because it's already specified in the data source. So let's click next. Uh, our target RDBMS is now MySQL. So let's uh let's just do a new connection. Can remove the existing connections. Okay, let's just do a new connection, give it a name, MySQL migration. Okay, the IP address will be the localhost and uh, the default port will uh, apply. Our root password will still remain, so the, our password there is already, because we already logged in the, in MySQL. Uh, our database is already stored, so we don't need to specify that. So we leave this one blank for now because we don't have our, uh, the default database. Let's so uh, test our connection. Provide your root password. Successfully made the MySQL connection. So we can close that now. Our connection to the target is uh, already active. You can decide to store uh, this connection for future use. So we just give a name here and click next. So we let's keep this for now. Okay, let's just uncheck this for now. We don't want to save that. Uh, Please enter password for the following service, MSSQL. So, just to confirm, I present the password for the following service, MySQL. Right, so that's uh, okay. So it, uh, it's going to perform three functions here, connect with the source DBMS. Check the target DBMS connection, retrieve uh, the schema list from source. So down here you always have uh, this button here if you want to view the logs of what is happening behind. Okay, in the background this is what uh, is happening. So you can hide that one. So let's go to the next one. Now so let's select uh, the schema that you want to migrate. So let's minimize this one. I mean collapse them. So we only need uh, the north wind. So let's select the DPO and the north wind. The DPO is the scheme I want to migrate. Uh, here we have three options. We only go with the default option for now. Uh, only one schema, catalog.schema.table. So let's proceed. It's processing. So uh, 
three things have uh, been done. Connect to source DBMS, reverse engineer selected uh, schemas, post-processing of uh, reversed engineering schemas. So if you want to check the logs again, you have it here. Okay, all that has happened behind the scenes. So let's move again next. So here we select uh, the objects that we want to migrate from the source database. So by default, uh, tables are selected. You can also select uh, uh, views and uh, migrate routine objects. So if we show selection here, find that there are several views here that should also be migrated. So you can hide. So here you have uh, the, the stored procedures mostly and uh, probably functions. So I'd side that one and uh, click next to proceed. Okay, let me maximize this one for now. Uh, finish processing task, migrate selected object. Create a SQL, uh, generate a SQL create statement. So let's go ahead and click next. Uh, no migration problems found, eight warnings. Use the view pull down menu to view all objects. So for now, we, won't, uh, we don't have anything to worry about uh, on the warning, so we just uh, continue. So create a schema in target RDBMS. You can still generate a, a script file if you want to uh, use the script file uh, later. So let's click next, uh, it already exists. So let me rename, maybe you can call it to. So creating script, connect to target uh, database, perform checks in target, create schemas and objects. So the process is ongoing of uh, creating the schemas and objects within the target now, right? So finish performing task, tasks, uh, let us proceed to the next uh, window. So all tasks have uh, gone on successfully, as you can see here, no error, so that's a uh, in case there is an error and you, you make changes, then you can uh, do recreate a object to run the process again. Let's go next and uh, now copy the data. So online copy of uh, table data to target our DBMS. So this one is going to copy our data right away. Right. So again, there is this uh, option here, target, tab, target tables. That is delete contents before copying data. Right. This means uh, on the target uh, DBMS, you delete everything that is already in the tables. If there is any data, you, you clear first the data before uh, copying the new data from the source database. So we, because it's a new database, we are not going to clear anything. Let's go and uh, click next. Preparing information for data copy. Uh, Determine number of rows to copy, copy data to target our DBMS. So that is complete. Click next. So that's our uh, data migration report right here. Right. So we have gone uh, through all these steps here. Until now, we are in the last stage of uh, the data mig the migration report. So. Our migration is uh, successful, as you can see, everything succeeded well. So let's uh, click Finish. And uh, maybe go back now to our uh, uh, My, MySQL server and refresh. You should find now our node in the database here. And if we expand, you should find some tables here. And also, these tables should have some data inside, like you can see. Right. So uh, we have uh, been successful to, to migrate our data from Microsoft SQL Server to MySQL uh, using MySQL Workbench Data Migration Tool. And uh, basically that is it for this video. So if you're new to this channel, please uh, consider subscribing. Uh, leave a comment below, let us know what you think about uh, this content. 
and uh, also please share with those who are interested in this kind of content to learn more about uh, database management systems uh, like Oracle, Postgres, uh, MySQL, and even Microsoft SQL Server. So thank you for watching uh, this video and let's meet in the next video.